Well, it is the final night of Hurricane Week here at CBS 17. Hurricane season starts tomorrow. And so far, we've looked back at the historic storms. We've looked inside the Hurricane Hunter airplanes, and we've looked ahead to the future of forecasting. And tonight, we want to look specifically and closely at the numbers in this year's hurricane forecast and why they are so historically high. Chief Meteorologist Wes Hohenstein is here to break down the record-setting forecast. Can you imagine a February afternoon in Central North Carolina with highs in the 90s? It's that type of out of place and extreme weather pattern that is setting up in the Atlantic Ocean for this year's hurricane season. Throughout the month of May, the Atlantic waters have been on fire. Many temperatures, as you can see here behind me, well into the 80s already. These readings actually where they would normally be in August, three months ahead of schedule. We track these water temperatures throughout the year. This blue line is the average temperature. As you can see, we go throughout the year, the waters get warmer. This red line is where we are this year already ahead of schedule where we would be in August like I said three months ahead of schedule and it was warm last year too but we thought the chaotic atmosphere produced by El Nino would keep the season less active but we underestimated the power of that warm water not only has the water gotten warmer this year but we don't have El Nino to temper those strong storms. Remember, El Nino has stronger winds coming across the country and across the Atlantic, keeping storms from forming. A developing La Nina could make it easier for storms to form since upper level wind shear won't be as strong. This is why forecasters at NOAA, Colorado State, and NC State have all agreed on an above average hurricane forecast. You can see a lot of numbers here behind me. Let's focus on the top line, number of named storms. An average year is 14. But again, NOAA, Colorado State, and NC State have all forecast above that. Let's average those forecast numbers. We get 21. Let's take that 21 and see how it compares to the busiest seasons of all times. Those 21 named storms forecasted this year would make this upcoming season the third busiest on record. The top three were all La Nina years. And last year's 20 named storms, that happened with warm water and El Nino wind shear. But now that we don't have that wind shear this year, watch out. Now, not all of the storms, of course, will hit North Carolina. But what about the worst hurricanes to ever hit our state? Of the top five here behind me, only one didn't happen in a favorable La Nina year. So Hazel, Fran, Floyd, and Matthew all happened in La Nina years. Florence, the only one that happened in an El Nino year. Now, it's only the beginning of the season, and hurricanes require a lot more ingredients to form than just a pot of boiling water and no wind shear. But when those ingredients come into place later this summer, the kitchen that is the Atlantic Ocean might get very busy.